Hi everybody on this Thursday morning, January 31st. Can you believe it? It's already the end of the month heading into February. I'm Doug with Menifee 24-7 and we've got some special guests in studio today to talk uh, with us about some new developments in the Menifee Union School District. We've got Jackie Johansson. Yes. Welcome, Jackie. Thank you. She uh, is a new member of the governing board for MUSD. And then we have Chad McGow, who is the Assistant Superintendent of Personnel Services. Thank you for having me. So, I appreciate it. Thank yeah, you both thank for coming you. in. Yeah. And we wanted to just have you come in and give us an update on some of the things that are going on with the district. Mm -hmm. So you want to start, Chad? Yes. Well, I was really excited as a board member to hear about Mr. McGow and the things that he has planned as far as jobs go. So in for the sake of time, um, I will let him talk about job fairs. Well, we're excited to be able to bring job fairs. Uh, to the local schools. So rather than have it centralized at the district office, we're going to branch out to our local schools and we'll be providing job fairs. So if you're interested in gaining employment, we encourage you to stay tuned because we'll be giving you information later on in the show, specifically with dates and times and locations. Um, but we will be going to each individual school site um, and having a job fair there to be able to either answer questions or help you through the application process um, to make sure that we're building capacity within our schools, um, making the schools really a hub of our local neighborhoods and communities, and then really providing the support for our students and our staff um, as they go forward to meet the needs of the kids, um, which I know Jackie's going to talk about with some pretty amazing um, test scores. Yes, um, but the, the job fairs too, um, right. it's, it's every position mm -hmm from within the school um, teachers, but also if you are support staff, like secretaries or the custodial positions. Or instructional or, aides. Yes, mm -hmm. all of those will be offered there. And then it's site specific. So if you have a certain site that you wanna be at um, because your child is there, because it's close to your house, you can apply right at that site for those positions. So that's really exciting and right. changing how we've been doing things. So just to be clear, folks, mm -hmm. this is not a career fair for the kids. This is a job fair for adults to mm -hmm. apply for positions in the school district. And as Chad said, this is really bringing it down to the school level mm -hmm. so you can identify more with the needs for that particular school and that community, mm -hmm. right? Right, right. Yeah. And, I, and I think the nice part about it is if you want to come out and you want to help the general school community, that's great too because there's a lot of opportunity that we have throughout the district. But if you just want to support your local or your neighborhood school, this is the way to do it. So we encourage you to come out, ask us questions, and be a part of your, your child or the neighborhood's education. And this is not just for credentialed teachers. This is for lunch aides, yep. uh, teachers aides. Yep. Yep. A lot of different yep. Things. yep. So we're excited. We think it's going to be great for the schools, the community, the students, the staff. It's just a wonderful opportunity for us to be able to, once again, like I said before, make the schools really the hub of that local small community within mm -hmm. itself. Right. Now, Chad, you're uh, fairly new to the district. I am. So can I am. you give us your, a little bit about your background? Yeah. Yeah. Um, excited to be part of Menifee. Um, I'm actually from a really small town in, in uh, South Dakota. Had the opportunity to come out here nice and outside warm of college. Right yeah, 53 below zero. <laughs> My dad texted me, he's loving it. It's <laughs> a 100 degree difference between us yeah. and Ooh. South Dakota. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. So, so bless him back there. Um, shout out to South Dakota. But uh, for me, I've had some pretty wonderful opportunities and been blessed to work with some pretty great people. So along the way, I've taught special education as well as regular education at the elementary, middle, and high school level. I've also been an administrator at the elementary, middle, and high school level. I've been an instructional specialist at the district office where I helped run math, science, language, arts, and social studies. I was also a state uh, curriculum consultant where I helped with AB 75 and AB 466 with administrative and uh, teaching training. Um, I also was a consultant with consulting firms uh, where we went in and helped low performing schools with essential program components, um, corrective actions, program improvement, those kinds of things. Okay. So along the way, I've had a a lot of wonderful mentors that have, have afforded me this opportunity that I sit here Great. today with well, you. We're glad to have you join the district. Yes. Well, he brings a wealth of knowledge yes. to the district. Yes. We're excited to have him. And how are you doing now? What, a month into your new yes. position? <laughs> yes. We've been going to a lot of trainings and a lot of uh, site visits, um, some of which I posted about like and try to update people, but I'm behind on that because I've been to a lot more sites than I've posted. But it's been great to meet them. And I think that part of what I'm seeing with this like fresh energy and a 
lot of new faces on the board and in the district office is that there's this exciting new energy right now. And I'm seeing people come forward with a lot of ideas and um, maybe people that had ideas but didn't feel like there was a way to express them. Mm -hmm. It's all like coming out and we're able to make, like even the restructuring, how we find people for jobs and wanting to be at a specific site. Those small little tweaks that we're making, I think make a huge difference. Right. And it's just really exciting to get the momentum going. So if you have great ideas, this is the time to pass them on. Yeah, it's like, kind of like a whole fresh start. It is, it feels with. that way yeah. and I love it. So right. we've been doing a ton of training. I have a ton more training to do, but I really want to be able to serve the community as best I can, make the most out of the position. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot more to do, but right. we're getting there. So now you have some news about test scores, yes. right? Yes, <laughs> okay. okay. So most people know I have a really big soft spot for science. <laughs> so yes. the biggest thing and the California state tests have started to come out. I don't know that there's been official announcements, but our district was actually first for science in the whole county, which wow. is just awesome. I'm really excited to hear it, yeah. but sciences are now only tested in fifth and eighth grade. And sometimes there's the concern that because they're not tested at the high school level, because they're not tested every year, that they could get sidelined. But our district has really made an effort the last few years to increase the sciences, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. So we came out first on the county. I'm so glad we've prioritized it. And That's yeah, great. I'm totally excited about that. Wonderful. And how do, how do the sciences play into a uh, student's prepare, preparing for college and careers? I mean, is it uh, teaching, obviously, but well, why is it important to have that still as a subject? STEM careers and like even the idea of STEM, maybe 10 years ago when I was going to like conventions and conferences, it was kind of just taking off kind of solidly. But now it's like we have full schools that are STEM schools because right. really what we're doing with STEM in science, technology, engineering, math, sometimes art gets thrown in there for STEAM. The idea is, is that when you're going out and doing research, a lot of times now the sciences are no longer necessarily just isolated. Like I'm just gonna learn biology and I'm gonna be able to solve the problem just using biology. Mm -hmm. A lot of times what I'm seeing, because I think you know, but I do environmental research right. um, out like in the summers in different for different countries. And when I do that, what you're seeing is you really need all the teams. You know, you need, if you're trying to solve a biological problem, you need potentially a chemist and you need a, a somebody in technology that can right. make those things happen. So the STEM idea is really the synthesis of all the other subjects. You need to know how to work. So, you know, you need the social studies background so you can work with governments and you need right. the math background so you can prove it with some math. Mm -hmm. You need some language art so you can write it up and disseminate information. Yeah. So it really is like that synthesis of all the other subjects, I feel like, but. Great, so yeah. is there any other news that you uh, wanna share with us? I have one other one okay. and I don't know if you um, wanna put like the picture up of our dashboard, but with our dashboard with the state, it's basically a, um almost like a gauge in a car that will show you like how well you're doing it's a gauge um and menifee and only one other district in the whole county got um the green light in our math so we wow. are really excelling in math right now and that's mm -hmm. huge we have a ways to go but we're getting there and we're one of two districts that received that so that's huge that's great and Good. then on the same report that you're showing I, I don't know if I should mention, but the worst score that we got was actually in our chronic absenteeism. These are students that are absent mm. a lot. Mm -hmm. That was actually our lowest score in Menifee, so we need to step we, that up. We need to encourage people to get their kids mm -hmm. to school and take advantage of all these opportunities. It is so important. Have. And the school, the district actually loses so much funding right. because of that low score. Right. Okay, and you had a couple other things you wanted to tell us yes. about. Yes, so we have a district-wide STEM Expo coming to Bell Mountain Middle School, but it's for the whole district on March 7th, and there'll be more details coming. And then 
I wanted to remind all the parents, uh, if you have a seven year old or older through sixth grade, once they start seventh grade, they have to have a Tdap booster. And that also uh, fights whooping cough, which in older kids, the cough can go on so long, it can actually break your ribs. So um, if you have time between now and the start of the school year, if you have a sixth grader, go take them in and get that immunization and you can turn it into the front office or you can turn it into the like health technician. And then the right. last thing is that it's so awesome. Our preschools um, in Quail Valley and at Menifee Preschool, they actually received an award from the Riverside County Office of Education and the Early Childhood Education Team. And Menifee Preschool was ranked a four out of five, which is a phenomenal score. And Quail Valley actually got a perfect five out of five. Oh, wow. So yeah. kudos to those Congratulations. sites. Yeah. Yeah. Big news. Big yes. News. Great. So, so great some for those great students. things are happening yes. in the district. Yeah. So Chad, you want to say uh, one final thing about uh, the application process for the job fairs? Yeah. So stay tuned. Um, we're going to be putting flyers on our website. Also, the local schools will be reaching out to their neighborhood communities in regards to when those job fairs will be happening. And we encourage you to come out and be a part of something great and all the great things we've already started and continue to build on within this district. So appreciate your time. Wonderful. Yeah, thank well, you. Thank, thank you so you much for letting us come in. I appreciate for it. coming out here. Yeah. We you. appreciate yeah. that. And we will see you all tomorrow. Try to stay dry, drive safe. We'll see you tomorrow on Good Morning Menifee.